Hello, rock and rollers. Ryan Roxy here with you. And welcome to another one on one lesson where I get to teach you some of my favorite songs. Are you ready to learn one of the best songs from one of the best bands that I know of? And I'm not even talking about myself. My ego is not that in control. It's not that huge today. Or is it? <laughs> so if you know me, you know how much I am a Cheap Trick fan, one of my favorite bands growing up, and I feel that they've written one of the most well-crafted songs ever. That song is called Surrender, and I'm going to teach it to you today. The first thing you're going to have to do is tune your guitar up to standard guitar tuning, uh, E standard tuning, if you want to call it, A440. If you uh, need some help with that, check out one of the links that we have below or above in the description for the Play Along Music Tuning Note series and just go to E standard tuning and we shall begin. Okay, so now your guitar is tuned up. Uh, that's my E chord, by the way. We shall go over the structure of Cheap Tricks Surrender because I really like the formula of this song. It uh, starts off with an intro, goes to a verse, to a chorus, then another verse, another chorus, then it modulates up to the last uh, verse and chorus and the chorus out. So that's the basic song structure of it. The intro is actually a modulation as well. And what is a modulation? A modulation is when whether you change the chords up or you change the chords down or sideways or diagonal, it's a shift in the chord pattern. But basically in this song, Surrender, we are modulating up each time. You can play the entire song on six string bar chords, but I ask you to know your fifth string bar chords as well, because I'm always talking about economy. When I talk about economy, what do I mean? I mean, you know, you don't want to be moving your hand all around the neck when you don't have to. When you, instead of playing a B chord here, you could play a B chord on your fifth string if you're going to the F sharp. These are little things. So what does the song start with? It starts with an introduction. So it starts off with A flat to B flat. That's your intro. And then we move on to the first verse. Okay, so with your first verse, you're going to modulate up to that B, F sharp, to E, back to B. Now, when I'm doing it all on six string bar chords, if I was to do it on fifth string bar chords, which you'll see me do in the playback version, that would be my B, F sharp, B. Then we just reverse it in the second half of the verse. And just reversed, E, F sharp, B. Try that again. And that's your verse. Let's move on to the chorus. The chorus is mommy's all right, daddy's all right. Damon, you know? How are you gonna ever forget that phrase? So the chords, sometimes you do forget them. <laughs> the chords for the chorus are like this. B, mommy's all right. A flat or G sharp, whichever one you want to call it. That is all right. F sharp. Ages a little. E. Again. B. A flat. F sharp. For those of you that want to uh, expand and not just play power chords, you can actually play um, the second chord as a minor chord. So it's B, A flat minor, F sharp, E. So this is what it would sound like a little bit more in real time. Mom's alright, daddy's alright, baby seem a little late. Surrender, surrender, but don't give ourselves away. Yeah. 
to the reintro. Now we're at the reintro, and that's just A to B. <laughs> And that's repeated a few times. So just learn that A to B. <laughs> Moving on to the second verse. I'll play the second verse a little bit more in real time so you can get it, but not full time, but uh, a little half time maybe. <laughs> that's a B chord. Sharp. E. B. Then reverse. E. F sharp. E. E. F sharp. B. Moving on to the second chorus. Again, the second chorus is just like the first chorus. I'll play it for you. Sort of in a slowed down version. One, two, three, four. D, A flat, F sharp, E. Now we're moving on to the I guess third sort of intro. Third intro will be the same as the other two intros, and it'll be A to B. I'm gonna use the fifth string bar chords this time. And when I go up to that modulation for the third verse, I'm going up a half step. So all of a sudden, it's the same chord pattern, but every chord is up a half step. So let me just play the intro right now. This is the third intro. A to B. A to B. Now modulate up a half step. C, G, F, C, C, G, F, C. Reverse it. F. Now we're at the last chorus, which is basically a modulated chorus. Same chord pattern as the other two choruses, but what? Up a half step. So that last chorus would be like this. One, two, three, four. C, A, G, F. And then we go to a chorus out. Our chorus out is basically C to F. And uh, I'll, again, I'll play it a little bit slow. In the playback, I'm playing it real time, but you can always use your speed control on whatever player you're using it on to slow it down if you need to. But here is the chorus out. One, two, three, four. C, F, C. that economy of this uh, left hand. I'm never going too far around the neck, so far up and down changing chords. I try to keep everything economized. All right, so that would be your chorus out. And then the only thing that you're not gonna hear in this version of the playback is the live ending. And so I will sort of give you a bonus for the live ending because it's the way I learned it off the at Budokan album. This is the Cheap Trick live ending. It's just C to B flat. F to E flat. E 
that last chord is basically a B flat with a C bass. I love, it's, it's like finger yourself a, a C fifth string bar chord, but then just take off that whole thing, your pinky, and the bottom. That's a secret chord. I use that a lot of songs that I write. So basically, that is all the parts of Cheap Trick Surrender using six string power chords, fifth string power chords, and for those that are a little bit more advanced, there's a minor chord in the choruses. So when you see it in the playback, you'll hear it, you'll pick it out, and then you'll be able to play along with it. But for those of you that are on the beginner intermediate stage, make sure you just play those power chords because power chords are where it's at. Know the names of where they are, know the position that they are on the guitar, and always try to economize with your hand, okay? So that's basically all the chords and all the parts that you need to learn. I'm ready for the playback. Are you? Let's go for it.
So there you have it. You have just now learned Cheap Trick's surrender. So next time you see Robin or Rick or any of the other guys in Cheap Trick, make sure you tell them that Roxy taught you the song and uh, now it's their turn to teach you one of mine. Fair deal, right? <laughs> Thanks again for tuning in. I hope you had a good time and I hope you got something out of this lesson. And if you'd like to be even more a part of the Roxy Guitar Army, make sure you drop on by the ryanroxy.com website and send me a quick note or just subscribe to any of the social medias of your choice. And make sure you in, are enjoying doing what you're doing with a guitar because that's my whole purpose in doing these types of videos and these types of lessons, okay? So until next time, Ryan Roxy, enjoy the ride.